Welcome back for another part of Modded Oblivion 2020. We're going to talk to Renault Germain. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, I've never been to Shainal. I... Oh, hang on, you're someone else. Apologies, my good friend. I mistook you for someone else. Always being asked about it, I am. Didn't I see you in Shadenwall, they say? But well, I'm sick of it. Sick and tired, tired and sick, and perhaps a little drunk. But never mind. You look like the honest sort, so I've got a job for you. You're going to travel to Shane Hall and find out what sort of imposter is trying to besmirch my good name. And you're going to tell him... <coughs> you're going to tell him I'm quite capable of besmirching my good name on my own. You should cease and desist immediately. There's 50 gold pieces in it for you, friend. Right then. Off you go. Yes, that was Renault Germain. Renault Germain. People around town had been saying that they had encountered him in Shaden Hall, but he didn't seem to recognize them. And he claims he hasn't been to Shaden Hall either. So, we're gonna go over there, we're gonna find out who's been pretending to be him. On the way, we're going to stop by the Tower Stone and grab a power that will help us with hard and maybe even very hard locks. We'll fast travel to Waynut Inn, since we've already traveled along the road in between the Imperial City and Coral. And from there, we'll ride south along Lake Rumor and stop by, the st uh, stop by the island that has the Tower Stone. A nice sunny day for the ride. Let me know in the comments if you want me to uh, do some dungeon delving in either an alien ruin or a cave or an imperial fort ruin. I added um, a couple mods, better dungeons and SNUS dungeons, which take the rather cookie cutter dungeons of the vanilla oblivion and make them far more uh, distinctive from each other. being attacked by bandits. But I think I'm just gonna ride past them for now. That sounds like it's a wolf too. And some sort of tiger puma thing. Attacking the Oregonian. Hi. She stumbled. And now she's running for it. I think that did it. Now the real challenge is finding the body. Grab the dwarven dagger, dwarven boots, a steel caress. Let's see how heavy it is. I was planning, as I think I mentioned in the first episode, on uh, keeping primary light armor for the chest piece, since it's usually the heaviest, and for the boots because the boots determine how well you can sneak. We're going to be doing the Seeds Guild. The Dwarven Armor looks really cool, though. Reskinned. And the chest piece. What the steel plate armor looks like. We're pretty close to the original. But, uh... More detail. But, again, those two pieces of armor are... the heavy... the parts of the suit that I don't want to have on. Uh, heavy, that is. 
I like my characters to be fairly light. The boar. I think we're just going to ignore that. Now the horseback, you're probably noticing I'm struggling a little bit with it. It is very clumsy compared to Skyrim's. And this is actually, um, I think, pretty much the very worst, worst uh, horse you can get in the game. It's the slowest and um, second least hardy. There's a tower stone up there. We're being chased by something. Once I get over there, I'll turn around and see if I can fight it. It's the Imperial City across the water, looking pretty good. Looks like it's some sort of cultist. It's trying to silence me. At least I hope that silence could be poison. That was added to the, um, the spell types. By, um, the Supreme Magicka mode. Oh, my armor has moved up to the Adept level. I believe that's where people tip... No, the apprentice level. I think that's 25 skill points, which is pretty much where you'd start if you chose as one of your major skills. It's nice. It's not so swiftly damaged, so higher endurance. Or durability. Chicken. Teacher. So, some sort of danger cultist. She was tough. Now, I have a new um, healing spell that I purchased off video. Uh, costs a lot more magicka, but it recovers 66 health over 3 seconds. I think means uh, significantly more powerful. This is Tower Stone, so these stones, you can find them throughout uh, Theradel, and they'll give you uh, uh, magical powers, but you can only um, activate them and gain the powers at night. So we'll save. Then we'll wait until night time. See the Imperial City at night. It's actually, um, Take a screenshot of that. And let's grab the stone's power. Do I wish to be marked by the tower? Yes. I gain the ward key and the master's hand greater powers. Greater powers mean they can only be activated once per day. The lesser powers can be used more often. I believe the master's arm fortifies my armor skill. And the warden's key opens hard locks, which is quite nice. I think we'll rest until morning. We're pretty close to it. Let's see, let's 
early morning and then ride to uh, Shaden Hall, which is the easternmost of um, Sarah Dale's counties. Now, Shaden Hall is um, the closest one to Morrowind of Saradel's counties, and it's ruled over by a dark elf, a member of house, I believe it's pronounced Halu. They were the great house of the Dunmer, the dark elves, that um, welcomed imperial occupation and the trade that it brought. There are rumors about this count his wife having died under mysterious circumstances, and that um, some dark organization has influence over the Count. Let's see, where is the road? There we go. probably seeing another one of those stones. These ones are different, the ones that have a blue shine to them, a blue, or rather blue um, markings on them, as opposed to the red ones. They, they let you conjure up um, weapons and armor temporarily that have uh, minor magical effects. Reasonably certain that those are bandits. And they spotted me. Looks like they're fighting someone else, too. We'll kite him a little bit. Since he's wearing heavy armor, he can't really catch me. Looks like the bandits have won their fight. It's probably against a uh, watchman. Well, raiders. And they're attacking my horse. alone. It's like some sort of dinosaur creatures attacking the other. Don't hurt me. Hey. Oh, you're not gonna run away, boy. But I think I lost my horse. He ran off in flight. Looks like there's some wild horses and some gar. Gar sort of like, um, I don't know, kind of like dinosaurs, I guess. Lizards. They're native to Morrowind, I believe. Let's see. Where did those raiders go that I saw? Which one? Dwarven short sword. That might be better than what I have. Actually, 
actually check and see if those are better. So currently, the weapon that I'm using is a fine steel longsword. Does 8 damage. Dwarven longsword does 10. Dwarven short sword does 8. Let's take a look here. Looks like it's a wild boar. be what the um, raiders were fighting. I don't see the other one that ran away from the gar. That might be the gar there. We'll avoid it if we can. go back a little ways and see if we can spot our horse. If not, we'll have to continue on foot. I said I killed another one right around here, but I don't see her body. Let's see, maybe this is my horse. I don't think I have any, um... No, nope, I do. Some ranged healing magic, so I'll heal it up a little bit. Whoa. I think it fell over. I think we'll save here, since we did manage to take out three raiders, and then the watchman shows up. A little late for the party. You have to wonder what he thinks, riding past his blood splattered horse and uh, civilian. all these corpses on the ground beside the road. Apparently my horse will stagger when it's wounded. Doesn't look like the road goes through this fort. In fact, the road might be the one, yeah, that's across this bridge here. We moved up a level, looks like. That'll put us at level 9 when we actually rest. Is that a horse up ahead, or...? It's probably a bandit. You can probably hotkey the dwarven sword. I think we'll hang on to it for a little longer. He's 
walking away from us. Maybe it's this traveler. But I doubt it. It's very much like a bandit. What is it? Pay up or else. Take it from me if you can. Easily done. Short sword, take his chainmail pants. Let's see. Do we actually want the chainmail pants though? We usually wear heavy armor for our pants. This provides one armor. Well, the rusty iron greaves right now only provide one armor. Might as well keep this for a little while. After all that fight, though, I should probably take a moment to repair my equipment. Probably start with my armor. Imperial City, Leowin. So there's a watch officer up ahead, and some combat going on. Yeah, when it gets closer to, um... Oh, I'll still watch officers. When it's closer to, um... Shaden Hall, the trees take on a much more, um, fall-like look. This is the Heartlands, and it's sort of, um... Horse is injured. More grassy, grassy fields and hills. Not sure I like that aspect of the mod. I mean, it's kind of neat in combat. Mardigan's monster mod that makes that uh, badly wounded enemies will sometimes stumble, and they take more damage the the more injured they are. Uh, it's really speed up those fights that in the vanilla game felt a bit like um, you were beating on meat shields. But um, I don't really like the fact that it makes your horse stumble. There's goblins up ahead. 
to deal with these at range. having some trouble getting up the hill, and now he's running. Uh, I mean, it's not surprising considering how many arrows he has stuck in him. I think I can hear bandits making small talk with each other. I think those other arrows were missing because they were hitting like a, a loading wall. Yeah. Pretty sure that's a raider. Just came running in, stole my kill, and is now attacking me. But on the bright side, I think she's wearing steel greaves, which I would very much like. And a steel helmet. We mustn't let her get away. That's right, girl. Now I got the watch on my side. Do your worst. She's not gonna get away in that heavy armor. Ah, it was Iron Greaves. We got the steel helmet. And we're over encumbered. Let's see, let's toss the um fine steel longsword. Take a look at what the helmet looks like when it's not hidden. It's an open faced helm. Looks almost like it's rusted though. It's not a bad looking helmet, but again, I don't really like using helmets in games where you, um, you go through a whole uh, customization process. Hmm, looks like there's another fight going on up ahead. A member of a watch. out a boar. Yeah, the Mardigan's monster mod adds a lot of enemies. You can see uh, like a flock of imps up ahead. Pretty sure they're gonna get aggroed when I run past them. Yep. Like, um, why didn't you do that when you saw the watch? And we can see a, another bandit. He's be wearing a custom chain shirt. We'll get a little ahead of him, and then we'll, um... That got a little confusing. Always trying to look behind me. Looks like he's fighting the imps. We'll see if we can uh, get it off his body. He really tore through the imps. Guardian imps. Well, maybe he isn't. No, he's a watchman. Hail, citizen. I speak for the Emperor. Or at least I did. wonder what happened to his horse, or if he's just like a dismounted version added by the mod. Move along. Of a interesting looking um, custom chain shirt. The two Imperial Dragons on it. 
wouldn't mind getting my hands on one of those. But we're actually going to be stopping by a cabin um, added by the, the Elven Armor and Weapon mod and grabbing a custom chain shirt from uh, there, right outside of Shaden Hall. So we won't be wearing leather garb much longer. Which road? We are facing the exact wrong direction right now. So we want to head to Shaden Hall, which is east. I'm guessing this road, and then up. Imperial City behind us. And the Gerald Mountains, which lead that block the way to Skyrim. I think we'll save here, just in case. I've already had the game crash at least once since I started this playthrough. I imagine it would crash a lot more without all the stability mods. I have somewhere around like 150 mods installed. Let's take a look at what that stone is down there. I think, if memory serves, it's the stone of the steed. Yeah. I believe that gives you, um, some powers that give you feather, which is lets you carry more and move a bit faster. And with the Supreme Magic of Mod, Feather also makes it so that you can fall from any height. And as long as you have Feather Cast, the fall won't kill you. Which allows you to do some pretty cool stuff with uh, Levitate and Jump Spells later. I believe it also, the stone also gives you a power that lets you boost your speed. You can see up ahead that the trees are starting to become a sort of a fall red. That's a clear sign that we're getting closer to um, Shaden Hall. Doesn't look like a watch. It's like uh, two rival um, outlaw factions. Got her. Ringleader. You're gonna steal battle axe. Chain mail cuirass. Greaves of the. Oops. I guess that took all of them. <laughs> okay. I don't want all of it though. The axe is too heavy for the amount of gold that it's worth to carry around as loot. Mm -hmm. Greaves of the tumbler. Yeah, it offers the same amount of armor protection, plus seven acrobatics. Well, you know what? Acrobatics is not really something that's worth boosting at this point in the game, so I think I'll just sell it for that 720, or at least as close as I can get it to gold. Chainmail armor, though, is better than what I have, so I'll take that. And... Don't need her pants... Iron Greaves, though. That's three armor compared to the two from the chainmail. Do you think I'll take that? 
Now, this chain mail is from the reasonable protective flavor part of the Vanilla Gear Redux. I don't like how he does the arms. So, Sin. I don't think that's very realistic looking. Well, we got some chain mail boots with the water walking passive effect, which is quite nice. And, yeah. None of this is really worth carrying around. So we'll just drop all that. And there we go. Let's see who she was fighting. Orc Barbarian. It's a sweet cake. And about a bunch of furs. And an outlaw hedge wizard. Looks like the barbarian killed the wizard, and then the ringleader took out the barbarian. So we got some neat gear here. They look a lot lighter. And we'll save. by the Elven Weaponry mod. I'm gonna do a little exploring and see if I can locate it. I might have already passed it. It might have been back by where I saw that imp in the waterfall. Yeah, this is Knights of the Thorn Lodge Hall. back and we'll see if we can find that cabin. I think before we do um, Renault Germain's quest, we'll uh, do the Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild quests. symbol on my radar map thing, compass. Let's try going this way to it. I'm pretty sure there's a road that leads up to it, but this boy might actually be faster, if a little more dangerous. So he trades us in Good, that you blade, want to get better. and he's an expert at it. He also repairs Have armor, a look at my wares. and he'll I'm barter sure with us. Suit you. He sells really high level um, blades made in the elven style uh, from Tolkien, or Peter Jackson's um, Tolkien Lord of the Rings movies. He also sells uh, elven bows, very powerful. The stuff that he has is pretty random. But it'll be worth it. It'll probably be weapons we'll be using late game. He has some of it lying around his house. Goodbye. He's wearing uh, the custom chainmail, and he's got one of the custom swords. Pretty cool-looking stuff. We'd like some of it. 
and it's not considered to be stealing to take some of the stuff from his home because he's just such a nice person. So we'll grab that bow. Good to see you. We also want Go to ahead, unburden please. ourselves. If I we can't, can't walk. fix it, it ain't broke. So we'll repair this. And this. And that. And then these uh, weapons, and then we'll sell some of it off. We'll leave that other stuff, other than the magical boots, which I don't think I have the, the skill yet to repair. I repair I'm on listening. later. Now, unfortunately, it looks like he's no longer shelling. It's Ta too late yes? in the day. Bye. So let's actually drop. Drop our boots for now. And pick them up and sell them to him in a little bit. Now he's got a sword there that we could borrow. He probably doesn't want us to, but it might be worth it to do so anyway. He's got some knives here. Tree knife. Some arrows, which he doesn't mind us taking. Take those. Glass crystal. The tree knife does eight points of damage. Royal knife does ten. Hardened coat up there. Yeah, nice stuff. So we want to borrow either one of the knives or the sword from him. The sword is two handed. It's got a nice glossy brown furnish, and the royal knife is one-handed. Hmm. Obviously, the first step is to get some rest. Well, until he goes to sleep, and then borrow some of the stuff. So we'll save, just in case we get caught. Ah, anticipated that. So, let's drop some of this other stuff as well. We won't need the Dwarven Longsword because we're going to be getting something better. At the very least, looking. Here's what the Elm Bow looks like. Very nice. Helm um, arrows are significantly more powerful than my current ones. We'll grab the hardened coat and the hardened leather gauntlets. So four armor, so it's about the same as what we're wearing the chainmail caress. And then the gauntlets are same level of protection, but they look a whole lot cooler. I love that um, that tree design on them. Very nice. Okay. Now, unfortunately, he's got his eyes on us, so we can't borrow one of these nice swords. Ideally, ideally, we'd like one of the royal knives and one of the two-handed swords. But I'm not sure if that's going to work. I think we have to wait until he closes shop, and then head in quietly. We'll be paying him back, of course, much later when we purchase his overpriced weaponry. He's heading out. He gets to use the restroom or something. And this gives us an excellent opportunity to borrow some stuff. Now, the way Karina sees it is she'll be paying him back later 
So it's not really thieving. And she's got, you know, to go get the Emperor's son, so if he knew what we were up to, he'd be eager to help us out. So, um, we just need to get in there so that we can help ourselves to his intended generosity. Yep. So we'll grab that. Now we do need to drop some more stuff. got 11 pounds. We can't really carry any of this stuff, but I consider it a fair trade. So we'll head to Shaden Hall, and I'll show off the weaponry, and I think that's where we'll call the episode. I do hope that guy doesn't go and get himself killed. I do plan on purchasing some of his uh, gear later. The Baron Cave. Bet you it's filled with like goblins. There's a fight going on down there between an imp and something. It's like the imp one. going on up there. So I think we'll save these arrows until we're actually doing a quest. We get to try out our new bow. It's a bat. It's fled. There's a boar, wolf or something up there. Not really anything to concern us. Now, some people like the knights to be darker. Um, Bevy Lex mod list originally came with the all weather natural mod, which made the game very dark, like pitch black at night. You had to use a torch or you couldn't really see anything. I do not really care for that. I like it to be more like it was in the vanilla where you. It's dark, you can tell it's night, but you can also see well enough to travel and fight. And here we are, Shaden Hole. We have a new bow, a new suit of armor, more or less, some new iron greaves, some magic chainmail boots, let's walk on water, neat elven hardened cuirass and gauntlets, this neat elmwood bow, and now we also have our choice of a tree knife, sort of, I think, designed off of Legolas's knives in the... Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings, or a royal knife, which has a white handle and does a little more damage. Or a two-handed elm blade, better reach, slightly more damage, but heavier, and we can't use a shield with it. Hmm. I do like the two-handed sword. This look, in particular. Yeah, 
is indeed. But I could probably hold on to... It looks like one of the royal knives um, wasn't really borrowing. He meant to give it to us because if you take a look, it doesn't have the red hand of Seavery on it. Hmm. So we'll probably sell at least one of them. Hold on to children for fighting enemies that require magic weapons to damage them. There are a few of those added to the game. We'll sell for extra armor. But I'll do that all off camera. And then uh, when we resume in the next episode, we will be doing some quests for the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild. So I hope you'll join me. And if you like this video, uh, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.